there's so much to discover on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and if you want to get the most out of it, you've come to the right place. I've put together some tips, secret and not so secret features to check out. The best part, some of these will also work with the rest of the Galaxy S24 series and even older Galaxy devices once you've got the One UI 6.1 update. Now, if you hadn't noticed, AI is basically the code name for this phone. I won't cover all of the features, but here are some of the best ones to try. First up, take any photo from your gallery and tap the pencil icon. You can rotate it or crop the image, then tap the generate button to fill in the missing pieces. This works pretty well even on complicated backgrounds to fill in the detail. When are you going to send me $50? You can live translate your next phone call, just tap Call Assist in an active call, then live translate and choose your language. Now, if you're not seeing the full list of languages, you can go to Settings, then search for Call Settings, and then find Live Translate. Download the voice packs for each language you want. You can even set language presets depending on who you call, so you don't have to manually change it and activate the language each time. Hi, how have you been fishing today? <laughs> how have you been fishing today? While you're on the phone, swipe down twice from the top to find mic mode. Tap it and then switch from standard to voice focus. Now it's going to use AI to isolate your voice and block out the sounds around you. Okay, let's see how well it actually works. Outside, lots of street noise. How do I sound? The Edge panel can do so much more than just bring up a list of apps. I love having my little to-do list here, and you can get the same one by downloading Edge Quick Notes from the Galaxy Store. You can also toggle on the Tools panel so you have an instant compass, a flashlight, even a level, a tally counter, or a ruler. And another one you can download from the Galaxy Store is called Control Center. This one is a nice way to have quick access to all your settings with one hand. You can find even more options in Settings, Display, then edge panels and then tap panels. Now let's make a custom animation so you never have to wake up to that same old boring alarm again. Open the alarm app and set your time and details, then scroll down to alarm background. Now tap on background and you get options to set an image or a video from your gallery to come up on screen when your alarm goes off. You can even have an emoji animation. Just tap the three dots, then create using AR emoji. Choose the character you want or make an emoji of yourself if you really want. Then choose your background and your dancing. Probably the best use for AR emojis I've seen. Your lock screen can change depending on the weather outside. This one is in settings, advanced features, labs, and photo ambient wallpaper. Now, when you go to change your wallpaper, you'll see photo ambient under the creative section. This is supposed to work best with outdoor and daytime photos. So I'm gonna choose this one, and then it should change depending on the weather outside, whether it's raining, snowing, or sunny. Now this one is for your privacy with all the AI features on this phone. You might want to make the processing on device rather than sending it to the cloud. Go to settings, advanced features, advanced intelligence, and press process data only on device. You probably already know you can circle to search when you hold down the home icon or the navigation bar and find anything you want on screen, but it also works in the camera app. So if you see a cute dog or an interesting plant, circle to search and bring up the results all without needing to actually take the picture. But you know, my dog's so cute, of course I'm gonna take her photo. Dual recording now lets you use two rear cameras at the same time, not just the selfie camera with one rear camera filming like older galaxies. This one is so much better, so you can now get two different perspectives of the same shot. Now the camera assistant has been around for a while now, but not that many people know about it. This one you can download from the Galaxy Store and once it's installed, open up the default camera app, go to settings and then find camera assistant. There's so much in here, so please enjoy all the customizations, but some of my favorites include auto lens switching, which you might wanna turn off, so it's not automatically switching the lenses when you don't want it to. Say, for example, if you're wanting to try and shoot telephoto in low light, a quick tap shutter, there's an audio monitoring option so you can listen through your connected device, and there's also a clean preview on HDMI displays so you don't get all those buttons and indicators when you are plugged into an external display. 
Now, while you're in the Galaxy Store, Sound Assistant is another one to try. You can customize the volume panel, create cool visualization effects with the volume slider, and for a bit of fun, you can even try voice effects. It works in some apps that use the microphone, like the camera. This isn't creepy at all. This isn't creepy at all. If you're playing audio on a speaker, but you don't want to hear those message dings and notification sounds interrupting your music, you can actually separate them. Go to settings, sounds and vibrations, and then separate app sound. Choose the media app like YouTube, Spotify, or any of the other services you have on your phone, then make sure the audio device is set to Bluetooth device. Wouldn't it be nice to just swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen to enter into split screen mode? You can actually do that. Go to settings, advanced features, and then multi-window, and then swipe for split screen. Super easy. Let's show the S Pen some love. So you probably already know about air actions, which let you do things like gesture in the air to take screenshots and write on the screen, navigate back, and go back to the home screen. But you can also launch a specific app when you press the button and double tap the screen. You'll need to download an app called Goodlock from the Galaxy Store and then the Pentastic module. Go into it and find the double tap shortcut. Now there is so much more you can do in Goodlock for almost every single part of your phone and that is worth a whole other video on its own. So if you do want to find out more about that, you can drop me a comment down below. This setting is going to help keep your battery life at its best by avoiding keeping your phone at 100% charge. Go to settings, battery and battery protection and then choose your level. There's so many more cool things you can do on the S24 Ultra and this just scratches the surface. But if you want extra tips, feel free to drop me a comment down below. And if you knew all these tips, you get a gold star and may your phone be blessed with extra battery life. See ya.